Sidney wrote sonnet sequences, didn't he? Or is Astor Fell and Stella by some other fellow? Dunn had a wicked sense of fun till he embraced principles he had formerly disdained and got ordained. Herbert was as sweet as orange sherbet. Whenever he felt caustic, he wrote an acrostic. Marvel refused to garvel before Cromwell, but wrote an ode of such strained ambiguity that it did just as well. Dryden went gliding down the Thames in a barge to hear the cannons and his friends discharge. Pope was no dope at razor slash disfigurement, but himself was misshapen and short and looked better in his wig when he wore it. Swift had a gift for satirical wit and the savor of shit. Gibbon wasn't exactly fibbin, but he spent his life ransacking Europe's libraries only to cram it all into a myth of the fall. Hume, one has to assume, broke Kant's dogmatic slumber and made him even dumber. Humanity is in a toilet stall, reading graffiti on the wall. <laughs>